Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to install SQLite browser on Mac OS Ventura. Let me tell you one fact. The SQLite database is installed on your Mac OS Ventura by default. If you go on the terminal and you will type the SQLite 3, then you will see the result that this is connected with the in-transit memory database and you have the SQLite prompt, then you can proceed to create the new database. But here I'm going to tell you a utility software, SQLite browser, and we are going to install on the Mac OS Ventura. This will help you to access the SQLite database. And uh, as you know, this is the utility tool. So with the help of this, you can interact with the SQLite database, which is pre-exist uh, in your application. So we can perform following actions with the help of this SQLite browser. We can simply create with the new SQLite database. And with the help of this tool, we have a GUI elements. We can go ahead and easily we can create the data tables columns, primary key, and other things. Also, we can uh, connect to the SQLite database. If we have any one in our application, we can simply open it. We can create, update, or delete the tables. Also, we can modify the data inside the tables. Then we have the proper GUI. Simply select a table and all the data will be visible to you. Then you can easily access that data. You can also execute some standard SQL queries and you can perform the queries on your database. Let's download it. This is the link and this link is present in the description. Copy the link and paste in the address bar. Then you will see this page and this is the download link. Simply click on it. Soon you will see the downloading on the right hand side. Downloading is done. File size is not big, only 16 MB in size. Now we will go inside the downloads folder. Here we have this DMG file, which is just downloaded. Simply double click to launch it. And then you will see this kind of small window, DB browser for SQLite. Now the process is simple. Just uh, put the mouse cursor, drag and drop this icon on the applications folder. Within a second, the application will be installed. Now we will go on the top menu, then go to the applications. When you come inside the applications folder, you will find this kind of icon, database icon, double click on it. Then you will see this kind of pop-up window. This is saying we need to install Rosetta, the another software which is required to run this kind of application. Okay. We can simply click on the install button. After a few seconds, this will ask you for the system password. Please enter the password and uh, click on the install software. Within two seconds, the software will be installed. Now we are ready to proceed. Again, we will go to the same icon, do the double click. And this will show you the warning message. Click open. And then you will see the home screen of the DB browser for SQLite. This is the pop-up that new version is available. You can simply go ahead with OK to download the new one. This is the home GUI of the DB browser for the SQLite. If you want to create the new database, you can simply choose this option, new database. Here you can save the file with the given name. Okay, and you can choose the file type. And if you have any existing database, you can simply open the browse and then you can select the database and click to open. Also, we have other options. I will show you by taking a simple demo database okay so i have one test database which i have downloaded from the internet as a sample so this is dot db extension and then what we need to do we have to open this database simply drag and drop the database on this sqlite browser and then you will see the table structure 
the tables are appearing okay and uh, when you expand the notes you can see all the ddl as well in front of that rows you can see the primary key also visible here so the all the detailed information what you want will appear in this way in this tab okay when you go to the new second tab browse data so with the help of this option you simply select any table and that data will be displayed here in the tabular format and also we have the feature we can simply double click on any cell and we can update and save the data see this okay the value is saved you can go to the any cell in any column simply edit the database and apply the changes and write the changes this is very convenient thing if you are working on a very large database all the tables will be appeared here in this drop down when you go on the last uh, tab execute X, X, sql this is the query uh, window so here you can simply type the queries and you can uh, perform the select update delete or filter the data as per you need so this is the query window yeah, we can simply execute the standard queries so let me show you by running the sample see this this way you will get the results in the tabular format so this is quite convenient okay as compared to the working on the black and white terminal window also you can export the data uh, as per your required format so friends this is all about the sqlite db browser for sqlite installation on mac os ventura i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching cool idea help